excited or? Yeah, I've been thinking about this day for a long time. A spring in his prosthetic step, quadruple amputee Moses Chan is about to regain a small but significant part of what he lost. Oh, this is the prototype. A new hand to replace one of the two he lost. Moses collapsed Christmas Day 2011. His blood poisoned by bacteria, he was put into an induced coma while doctors fought the infection with drugs that saved his life but cost him his hands and feet. A hook doesn't compare to the real thing. And neither will the myoelectric limb he's about to use for the first time. I did it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Do you want to shake my hand? Come here. <laughs> He's able to do things he hasn't done in nearly two years. Hi there, Hi. you too. <laughs> yeah, that's that's so much more natural and yeah. Hey. Am I squeezing you too hard? Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. The new hand is functionally superior. His day-to-day -day life will be much easier once he learns to use it. But perhaps as important will be the change in interaction with other people. I found that with my hook, people would basically stare at my hooks all the time. <laughs> like they wouldn't be looking at me. Right? Yeah. Somehow Moses has the only dry eyes in the room. So even the, the things that we make are important. The attitude of the person is a lot more important. And that's, that's not typically something we see a lot. <laughs> The two electronic prosthetics he'll end up with are wow. expensive, tens of thousands of dollars and more each year for maintenance. Two churches, global viewers and the Richmond Lions Club have raised more than $100,000 yeah. for a man who wanted nothing more than to one day hold his son's hand again. Before I thought, you know, the world was a very selfish place, but seeing how this was made possible by the generosity of so many people, I just really think that our community that we live in is actually quite wonderful and there's a lot of hope out there. Thank you for, th for lending me a hand. <laughs> All right. Jeff Hastings, Global News.